everybody, it's Carrie with Seed to Spoon. So I am out here in first thing in the morning. I just dropped the girls off at school and I'm still tired. <laughs> so um, just got up, rolled out of bed, took a shower and dropped them off. And I thought I would stop in at Home Depot while I'm up in this area and pick up some of um, the supplies that we need for our PVC pipe dome covers that we're gonna be making. Um, so I thought that I would just show you a little bit of the supplies that we would need. So here in the plumbing section, they have a bunch of PVC pipe. So we get this half, half inch by 10 foot. Okay, back here in the concrete lane section, and I am looking for the rebar that we need. Okay, so these are the pieces here, and I don't have the truck with me today, so I'm probably just going to get the smaller pieces, because we just need the one foot pieces anyways. Okay, so I'm going to get several of these 10 foot ones, just because whenever you buy it in make it longer it's a lot cheaper so and I, this is the biggest one that I can fit in the car that I have today so I'm gonna pick up several of these and bring these home okay so now that we got all of the supplies together and Dale went ahead and cut that rebar down to the sizes that we needed um, I just wanted to show you a little bit about what we are doing so these are some of the ones that we made last season so they're quite a bit smaller and we ran into some problems last season with them just whenever the plants got too big they were running into the plastic sheeting on the top so we wanted to try out um, a new one making it just a little bit bigger and also with having it bigger we thought it might keep it a little bit warmer it'll have more air in there so we're going to be trying out the larger size this season so I'm gonna be building another one of these here in a few minutes, but I thought I would just show you real quick what, what this is and what we're gonna be doing today. So down here in the ground, we have some of the rebar pieces that Dale already cut down and he put these into the ground and then slid these half inch PVC pipe over top of it. And this is an eight foot. Um, so eight feet of the PVC pipe, half inch. And then we have these three quarter inch pieces right here that slide into here and then a half inch connector right here to have a brace going through we used to um before last season we had these being a half of an inch and it was just really hard to get these in and we were having to cut and glue pieces so having the three quarter inch to slide through makes this stronger so we don't have to cut it and glue it and it made it a whole lot easier too so that, that's why we did that. Now these will slide through, which is why it makes it so easy. But once we got this to the right place where we wanted it, we just put a small screw in just to keep this in place. And we did that with each one. So we have three different braces throughout this. Okay, so let's go build another one so you can see it in action. Okay, so I'm just gonna take these pieces of rebar and put them at every corner of one of these big bag beds. And I'm just going to stick them into the ground and I'll come back behind and either hammer it down or use a shovel and stuff. Like that. Look at that. That went in nice and easy. Benefit of having just had rain. So I'm just going to drill a hole real quick through the very center of this so that way it goes through right there. So that way whenever I put them on to the PVC pipe, I can put a screw in there and it'll help it to stay in place a lot easier. Okay, so I'm just going to slide this PVC pipe through the rebar and then I'm going to take few of these just to slide onto here to attach the middle braces. And then I'm just going to bend this over and attach it there.
So I'm just gonna go through and I'm gonna approximate like where I want my braces to be. So I wanted one on this side and then one up on top and then one over about the same, same area as this on the other side too. So I'm just gonna go through with some screws and just screw them in. Okay, so now that we have all of those screwed together, I went ahead and put the, another piece of the half inch PVC pipe into that side over there. And then I am um, just gonna bring it level over here. You can go through and like just mark this and then take it off and take it somewhere else and cut it down. But it's just, it's just as easy to just do it by hand over here. So that's just all we do. So now you just need to bring this bottom piece up to it and then slide that into there. And then now, once we have that in there, we're just gonna go through and we're gonna screw in this side now. Okay, so now we're just gonna go through and do the same thing for each one of these braces. So we already put this one over here and now we're just gonna saw this one to the correct length. Okay, so that is it for our frame that we have built. So from here you can do several things. So you can either do, um, you know, plastic sheeting over top of it, or you can do a light frost blanket, um, or in the summer you could do some insect netting over top of this too and protect your plants from some flying bugs. We're gonna go ahead and just keep them like this for right now so it gets plenty of air because the weather's beautiful right now, but pretty soon we will be looking at getting these covered and protect our plants from the freeze. Okay, so I had to make a quick trip. We went to our local Harbor Freight because we needed to pick up some clips because I did want to show you guys, even though it's not cold yet here, I know there's a lot of places that are, so I wanted to go ahead and show you all just how to hook this up, and I wanted to make sure I had all the supplies for it. So we had to make a quick trip, but we are back now. So we're gonna go ahead and take this. So right down here, um, we have this plastic sheeting. This is a six mil plastic sheeting. So really all you're gonna do is just rape this over. And I want it to touch the ground over here. And then I'm gonna come over here and cut the bottom down here. Okay, so now we're just gonna unfold it. Now all I'm going to do is just pull this tight and then take my spring clamps and clamp each corner down at the bottom so we have nice flat and protected plants. Okay, so I mean, really that's all it is to it. So whenever you want to go through and harvest, all you would need to do is just take off one of these corners. Just hop in there. Um, we also have built ones that are hinged that we have on some wooden raised beds, but just on the scale that we do it, this is a lot easier and faster for us. But I'll link to that video that we made before also in case you wanna see that one as well. Thank you so much for watching. I hope that this helps walk you through just a little bit about how to 
keep growing your crops throughout the winter and hopefully you can extend your growing season a little bit with this video. If you haven't already, make sure that you check out our free From Seed to Spoon mobile app. It's available for download in the iOS and Android stores and it'll walk you through growing over 100 different fruits, vegetables, herbs, and it'll help make growing easy. I mean, it'll walk you through all the way from how to plant all the way to how to manage pests and companion planting, all of that. So make sure you check it out if you haven't already. And thank you so much for watching. We'll see you next time. Thank you.